just true when I was young. You You're looking great, Fox. And I mentioned... <laughs> I mentioned before, I think sometimes people underestimate the job of a director on a show like this, which is really a, what they call a winging show. We don't really have time, and he does a great job, and uh, I love him. Would you welcome my brother, Dick Carson. <laughs> can bump and move down one. Uh, well, here we are. Uh, that's why Dick's in the booth. Uh, did, did, did you hear the, uh, this is the first time you've been in this chair in almost six years. And it must be strange, really. To, it, uh, it really to, is. To talk to a brother, you see each other in the office every day, which they do. No, really. And now you're face to face. mind if I talk to him, Don? No. Go right ahead. I'm just trying to pick up the pace because I'm off <laughs> Exactly skyrocketing. I often wonder if my people choose in their career to step down. You know, when you've got a good thing going here. It's, uh, you know, it's comfortable. We're on every night. You, this gym yeah. is going on, you know. Prime, prime, prime time. <clears throat> <laughs> my own brother. You see what's happened? He's only been with you a couple of weeks and already he's turning. Well, I give him kicks. <laughs> I don't come up with a salami sandwich and a mac. Hey, really? Are you salami? Are you looking forward to it, really? Very much so, yeah. Going out next week, and we're going to uh, get together with Pat McCormick. Yeah, you've got the big old thing. And I know Pat's got lots of ideas already in line for Don. Uh, you'll, be, you'll be good for Don, really. And, and, and uh, your brother will be one of our guests, which we're thrilled about, because <coughs> many people ask me, uh, you know, Johnny Carson was the first guy to put me on nighttime television, which is a fact. And I'm very proud to have Johnny as one of our guests. I'm sure Dick is, too. It'll be a lot of fun. I also had passage on the Andre Doria. <laughs> Big deal. So we'll be right back after work at your local station. back in a moment with my guest, Mr. Dick Carson. <laughs> All right, we're back. Isn't this fun? Oh, it's great. Just to see you sit up there trying to figure out what to ask your brother. <laughs> it's not easy to interview your brother you know, because we I know everything. We were talking during the commercial, we were saying, right, Lee? Right. Good, Lee, jump in. <laughs> we were saying that it, it, when you have your own brother, you see him every day, and you talk to him, and you love him dearly, and you, all of a sudden you're on the air with him, and it's like a uh, scramble... Egg time, you know, you don't know what to say to it. Scrambled egg Scrambled time. Don't that, you ever, didn't you ever go to a diner? No. Think of the poverty days when you were hanging around downtown L.A. going, Hello, anybody. <laughs> you know, don't forget, John, think of the poverty. Now your brother's going to skyrocket, make more money than you, and we need a clerk. <laughs> <laughs> what is all that? I don't even really know what to ask you. You know what we did do? We uh, had that young fellow, Andy Mose, who runs a service called Trackdown. Uh, oh, looks that. into your past, and we checked into Dick's past. Dick married uh, a girl that he went, uh, went with, what, the sixth grade in high school, right? Yep. Had them, the only girl you'd really ever gone with, true? Ooh. <laughs> well, well, that's what I got here on the card. No, it says you never had any other girlfriends. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> you'll buy that. Was he alone a lot in his sandbox? Yes, he <laughs> making your brother I'm, a dummy. No, he no. Girls. I know he likes girls. Well, what do you think he was before he met his wife? A priest? <laughs> <laughs> the man has girls. No, Dick is shy like I am, right? Oh, yeah. You're shy. Let Dick yeah. answer. Let Dick, yeah. let Dick say yes or no. Well, that's a buzzer. Dick, you're you know. putting him on a spot. Right away you made him a dummy that he doesn't know girls. I he knows say. a lot of girls. And we're fed up. He happens to think this. And I'm telling you from the bottom of my heart, he's fed up with your wife. What is that? <laughs> Why? He's got to call 
up Joanne to get his check. Why? Why did you take this job, Dick? <laughs> Dick, why? Have we been close? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've tried, haven't I? Right. <laughs> why? I mean, what? what is it? It can't be just California, can I? Can't it? No, he wants to go out and... I go. didn't ask you. I'm what are you? Are you He's sitting there with a pencil and he doesn't know what to say. Now, if you say that again, Liberace's going to do a tap number. <laughs> And I'll wheeze again. Wheezing along here. Uh... Cut out, old timer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got some pictures here. I got some oh, pictures oh, from, oh. from Dick's. Now, I want to show you. I'm sure it's great. Right? No, this is not the big thing. These are kind of... Kind of... Hmm? Look, we'll just wait while you look for your pictures. No. Here's a picture when we were kids, really. Mm. I think it's kind of amusing. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Look at that. That's me. We've been fishing. Do you believe that? How old are you? How, are you, how old are you there, John? I was about, I guess, ten. Dick must have been. You've got everything there. What, what do you mean? Better fish? Yeah. Well. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Hey, what what about that? No, seriously. What that? Sure. Why? Right. He was always no, with the sport. No. Oh, always on the fish. That, that's another These are from, uh, from when you were, from when he was an actor. Which one you? Oh, he was voted the best actor at the University of Nebraska. That's true. Look at him standing there. Listen, I don't know what this play was. That's, that's you in the middle. Look at this one. With the sword. And what, were, what was that, Antigone? That's Julius Caesar. You played Julius? No, I don't know. You played Caesar? Played, uh, you played Brutus. Play the guy with the bird. Look for it. <laughs> Just roll right along, John. <laughs> well, I thought people would be interested in me. We are. You notice how the crowd's standing up? <laughs> well, what's that from? <laughs> that's the same play. That's, Cleo, that's Shaw's uh, Cleopatra. And uh, I had a small part in that. I thought you played uh, Julius Caesar. Mm -mm. Oh. What are you making of a test? It's not a test. It's not a test. Just Show the pictures. Don't interview it. <laughs> Aren't you glad you came on the show oh, tonight? This is, a, this is a treat for all of us. <laughs> show the one you nude in the shower. <laughs> Trying to sink the soap. <laughs> sink the soap? I don't know what all those are, but those are kind of nostalgic. It's actually, yeah. That's Charlie's there. Oh, I thought it's two guys in Coney Island trying to make a move. <laughs> I don't know why I brought you out here to be either. subjected to this. No, it's nice to see no. a brother. And I, and I say this from the bottom of my heart. <clears throat> Have you got a place to live yet in California? <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> you seem to be getting some reverberation from the studio upstairs. Uh, no, uh, Dick has uh, two, two boys and uh, a youngster, Kathy. Daughter. And daughter. And uh, of course. I say, Kathy, I presume it's a daughter. Yeah. Mm. And, and your wife, his wife is here tonight. That's right. right. Pat, 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 Pat Worth, stand up, take a bow, Pat. Really? Way really? over on the far side. I don't know if you can get a shot of her. Oh, oh who's Pat? Who's Pat? Pat? Here we go. 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 You know, she looks so different from the old days. Remember when you danced to Night Train? <laughs> oh, one thing, you always hold that against somebody. <laughs> right. One little dance. One little dance she did at Night Train. She's a big pretty deal. Pretty girl. No, that's a nice girl. Did you ever have Joanne on the show? Your wife? You remember Joanne, the wife? Yes. Good. <laughs> Joanne was on the show one night, really, with Steve Lawrence when I was off. Yeah, you never uh, were together. Well, you'd have probably... No, we were, on, no we were on the show together one night, right after we were married. Mm. Uh, she was on the show, and mm. I've been in the audience a couple of times. Mm. But, uh, hmm? Mm. I'm just sitting here. It's your show, pal. Go get him, Tiger. <laughs> Later on, Dick, you do a half gainer off the desk to keep Johnny awake. We're going to do a sketch right after this. Why? I Why? don't know. I don't know, but oh. it's, it's a biggie. It's a biggie. I hope so, John. We're going to be right back after this <laughs> message of interest. One of the searing questions in the political campaign this year is the urban crisis. With crime and violence on the rise, there seems to be a lack of involvement on the part of the average citizen. 
In fact, police will say that the average citizen will actually stand and let an act of violence happen. Tonight, we're going to test that as we pick up an average citizen waiting for a bus in a large city. Help me, help me. you got to help me. There's a man after me. He's trying to kill me. He grabbed my purse, had my life savings in it. He's only a teenager. You could whip him in a minute. Help me. you got to help me. I'm sorry, madam. I don't want to get involved. Now, you there's understand. a police station right down here you don't on the film. Go down to the right. You got, you got to help me. I don't. You got to. Give us some, some inside views.